Hey, thanks for joining me. Um, I am all about varying types of art styles and doing something different and just shocking us with the audacity to try something off the beaten path. Just go for it. That being said, there are times when I see stuff that I understand other people like a lot and I do not get it. I do not like it. I do not care for it. And boy, oh God almighty, is this a, is this a perfect example of some shit I just don't get. Images of Shadowhawk. I think it was like, it's supposed to be an offshoot title where other artists are given the opportunity to do things with Shadowhawk, who has the potential to be a visually interesting character. Um, but in the hands of Valentino, who's a nice guy, good guy, dedicated guy, but his artwork I just I feel like he got worse once he joined the image. I thought his Guardians of the Galaxy stuff was pretty fantastic, but it's kind of more a classic old schools type work. He definitely was kind of the the outsider of the group that I mean, he was popular and um but he just his work just wasn't the same. But the images of Shadowhawk, right? We'll do something different. Okay, I appreciate that. I understand that people Keith Giffen, writer artist, um I'm sorry, I should have looked this up. D didn't he pass away recently? Um, so this is, the book is from 93. It's 2024 right now. But uh, did he pass away in the last year, I think? Um, I think so. I'm sorry if I've got that wrong. Alan Grant, Dialogue. It's, uh, Jesus, Clydine, Knee, nee, Color Artist. Boy, do you feel bad for the color artist on this stuff. Look, I understand. Like, I can see the talent and skill involved. It feels like a... Like what M like an MTV liquid television Eon Flux kind of weird vibe, a, maybe a heavy metal kind of weird thing. Um, it certainly takes a lot of skill and ability to do what he does. I do not like it almost at all. Like everything about this just sucks in my personal opinion as far as my tastes. I'm not shitting on the man, the people involved. I'm not saying anything about their personal character. They're way more talented and successful than I will ever be. I just, I do not like it, not one bit. Mainly because it's so goddamn hard to decipher everything. I can only imagine what the black and white artwork would look like. I do appreciate the fact that it looks kind of like a weird, odd kind of animated thing. But, and I, I like that they're trying to do something different with Shadowhawk doing some weird page layouts, but I just know that if I were to hand this off to somebody, like I've got a couple of friends who don't know anything about comics. If I were to hand this to them and have them tell me what is going on in this cover, I don't think they could, they could tell me. I don't think that they would be able to dice, decipher and identify that this is supposed to be a head, a face in a mask with eyes, and that these are fucking hands, and this these are pipes. I like I, I'm almost certain of it. And in that kind of same vein, I can't tell you what that top panel is supposed to be. I guess it's a grappling line from Shadowhawk. Like he's like doing the Batman thing, swinging down through a city. I, I appreciate the odd panel layouts. I don't understand what the gaps in this are supposed to be representative of or what the, the, the goal is. <coughs> it's distracting as fuck. But as a piece of artwork, it's distracting as a storytelling element, but as a piece of artwork, looking at the page with these weird designs and panel layouts and it, how it cuts into it, I, I, don't, I don't get it, but it's interesting. And then here you got Shadowhawk, just a gray blob blending into the backgrounds. There's no blacks separating things. It's flat and weird, so the colorist is tasked with filling all of this in. And so it's, it's kind of interesting. I just, I don't like it. It, 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 I don't, I don't dig it. Interesting big lettering snap. I don't know what's getting snapped. I like that it's pretty damn silent, like almost no dialogue, right? None. I appreciate that from a storytelling approach. It's funny how it says, you know, Alan Grant, dialogue. Well, you've had a lot to do so far. Oh, smooth. You got that right there. Um... God, this, even this panel down here, like, what a weird fucking, like, that's Shadowhawk's body, like, a low angle looking up, and that's supposed to be his eyes, but they didn't draw in his head. It's like, it's just not there, and then it just blends in with the colors in the background. I get what they're going for. I do not think it works at all. I kind of like these two panels. The walking stance, the feet. 
Um, that's kind of an interesting panel. All, almost completely indecipherable what we're looking at there. I understand I can see some building shots. What is going on here? What is going on here? Can you tell that this is a guy's face and a smoke that he's lighting up? Like, this is... I don't like when I look at a comic and it's hard to decipher. I know some people that would look at it and be like, it's so edgy, it's so different, it's so raw, it's different, it's not Liefeld, it's not Lee, it's not McFarlane. Great, right, I get it. I get it. And as a piece of like pop art, I, I feel like I could hand these off to like the rocker high school jock douchebags in high school when I was in school in the 90s. I bet I could hand this to them and they'd fucking love it because it just looks interesting. But I bet if I were like, read the thing and tell me what happened, I bet you they couldn't. So, and that lettering, that coloring on top of this newspaper, that's a terrible idea. And is that a, what the hell kind of face is that? Decipher that weird shit. So, if you like this art, please tell me, like, what it is that appeals to you. If it's just that it's different, that's fine, but it's just so, it's off-putting to me. And so who cares what I think? I know. This is almost a mess of just lines I can't even decipher what I'm... I can't even see it. I can't tell what I'm looking at. And then I get... Okay, Shadowhawk getting shot. It took me a minute to look at this and like, what am I seeing? Oh, okay. His head's over here. This is his body laying on the side. This is his ass, legs, knees, foot, arm going forward with the gun just emptying a clip into Shadowhawk. Now that I kind of dig. There's a lot of action and movement in that with all the bullets hitting him, slamming into the world's smallest car, or Shadowhawk is just giant. I guess something sparks because something blows up. So there's a bunch of, is this Shadowhawk jumping out and he's on fire? Like, okay, sure. But it just kind of continues with shit that I, I, I don't like. I kind of like the fact that Shadowhawk's armor has got all these bullet, you know, hits in it. Like he took all those shots and it dinged up his outfit. Um, I don't know what these black shapes are back over here. It's supposed to be like a Sharpie drawn representation of a cityscape in like a one point perspective. I don't know. It's, it's just the more I flip through this, I'm like, <laughs> again, I understand people dig it. I guess. I don't know how much of this type of stuff did Keith Giffen do. I know he did it in his book, Trencher. But is this what he always drew like? Is this a weird, radical, unique take on something just to shock us? Is this Trencher himself? I don't fucking know, man. So I just... It's like the more I flip through this, the more I just... I want to get through it because I, I don't like what I'm seeing. I just... I don't like it. And it, it's hard to see. I'm, I'm in a constant state of like, what am I what am I seeing? What am I looking at? What am I trying to decipher? And comics shouldn't be like that, in my opinion. Again, I appreciate doing something different, but this is just... What is going on? What am I looking at? Like, I appreciate the angle, the shot, like a building up here, like a gargoyle or something, and Shadowhawk's just hanging on to it, looking down at the cop cars below. That's pretty cool. But, like, they do this, like, negative shape, the silhouette shape of Shadowhawk up front. But the gray tones kind of push the silhouette into the background, and the colors in the background come forward. So it's off-putting. It's weird. It just doesn't read. It's just, I, I don't like any of this. There'll be occasional drawing here and there that's kind of interesting. This is kind of interesting because you can kind of tell what's going on. You want to talk about failures? Read that. Next. The, uh, and Fiti and something. That's a fuck up of epic proportions. And there, to be cunt. Um, yeah, that sucked. That sucked. Um, God, I didn't bother to read this. But it's Jim Valentino talking about, he says, back to this comic, the astute among you will note that our first, second, and third issues by Keith Giffen and Alan Grant, these two merry men, or sorry, these two mad men probably don't need any introduction. Um, 
you know, he's just talking about them. It's fine. I don't know. Some pinups. Like, Jerry Ordway is not the kind of artist that would make a good Shadowhawk drawing. He's a fine artist. That, I think that sucks. That's one of the weirder Sam Keith things. I feel like he did not give a shit. I feel like this is like a tiny little sketch he banged out in 15 minutes. And they're like, oh, God, Sam Keith did it. He, and he drew Shadow, Shadowhawk just shoving his dick forward. Okay. And then Don Simpson. Don Simpson is Don Simpson. I swear his artwork hasn't changed in three decades. Kind of don't like the guy. He kind of pissed me off online recently. And I'll, I'll just keep that story to myself. But kind of fuck Don Simpson. I appreciate his work and what he does. But he's kind of a fucking twat. Uh, Trencher. Trencher. Yeah. Trencher Zero. Fat chance of that hap ever happening, it says. I appreciate that. It says, but you know, we're up to issue five and still only $1.95. Check us out. Eric Larson writes Savage Dragon number five. Cyberforce trade paperback. And all the current image stuff coming up. Uh, Pit in Hero Illustrated. Um, I hate that comic. But not because it pisses me off because there's no artistic integrity or attempt to do something good. There's plenty of books out there that I've disliked that are just pieces of shit because they didn't know what they were doing. This is just not for me. I, I couldn't... I If I had to think of something that is the best definition of something that is just not for me. This is not made for me. I do not like it. I do not ever want to see this ever again. I will never pick up, uh, if I find in the back bin, back issue bins, you know, images of Shadowhawk books two and three, I'll just put them right back. Um, unless they're for like a quarter. And unless this, vi this video does like gangbusters as far as views and people demand I look at it again. But I'd rather never look at this shit ever again. I hate it. So I'm sorry. <laughs> if you dug, if you dig it, please tell me why. What did you like about it, and what makes it work for you? But uh, you're not going to convince me that it's good. But I will certainly understand that you like it, even if I don't. So that's it. Another quick video. I'm done. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. See you later.